these are the best apps that I have found in Canva and the ones that I use the most. So when you get to your design, you're going to go to your you know, little sidebar over here on the left and click apps. You can scroll through. I have spent probably too much time exploring the different apps that Canva offers and I have only seen a measly fraction. So play around with some of these, see what ones you like. Um, but you can go over here to your apps and these are the five apps that I use the most when creating in Canva. So the first one that I started with was the QR code generator. It's so simple. You just type in the, you know, the website that you want to do. You can even, you know, you can change the colors of the QR code if you wanted. I'm just, it's literally, you type in the URL and just bang, it's right there. You don't have to go to a different website anymore to copy and paste, save it as an image. It's just literally a tool within Canva. Uh, the next tool that I use, uh, that I use as an app, would be mockups. This would be a great tool if maybe you're designing a t-shirt or uh, maybe you have a game day graphic that you kind of want to pose, um, like as a smartphone. One that I use, we used it for like our water bottle. I'm going to this is going to kind of be like a nice little add-on to the notebook. So now that you chose your mock-up, then you go to your uploads and choose your, your image that you want to put on there. You just kind of drag it in and then it will update and even show like the three-dimensional wraparound. It is really slick. Uh, my third app that I use is emoji this it, i'm sure you've probably have had maybe you've tried to put emojis in into a design and it just kind of looks weird it doesn't really fit well yeah you, you can't really when you zoom it out it gets pixeled it's we're done with that what we use now is the emoji app so i want to add two question marks to you know for my my q a part and so you can literally, what makes it a game changer is that you can edit the different, the different emojis, like even, so for the thinking guy, you can change all these different colors. Um, yeah, I, I love that as it is, so I'm just gonna leave it. I know it's a little hard to see, but you can change change all of the all of the colors on like a camera or a TV. It's really, really awesome. And then another tool that I recently came across is Bitly. Bitly has an embed now. It's incredible. So I'm sure that you use your Bitly account to shorten links, to share on social, to, um, you know, maybe it's for uh, where to buy your school apparel, or maybe it's another team streaming platform, whatever it is. It has all of the Bitly's I've created, and so you can, can continue to track that in your Bitly account and even add it to your design. It's so simple. Yeah, you've made the Bitly link, and now with a click of a button, you can just use that same Bitly link and create a QR code. And then lastly, I wanted to share with you Embed. This one I use quite a bit as well, especially like for presentations um, or when I'm trying to share content um, with a team or something like that. You just get your link of whatever you want to embed, whether it's a YouTube video. This one, I'm gonna use Twitter. So I'm just gonna copy the link. I'm gonna paste it in here and add it to my design. And now with the click of a button, it fits right there. And it will play the video if I want it, if you double click, like it is a slick, easy tool. And I know uh, Josh Allen was even impressed at Threads Embeds. Um, one thing to note, if you do have, if you're creating this content under the school's um, uh, Wi-Fi or internet, it might, certain websites like social medias would be blocked and so it might have trouble um, embedding those certain uh, tweets or YouTube videos or Facebook posts. So just be mindful of that if you're under the school's Wi-Fi and have certain uh, 
limitations to what websites you and students can reach. But other than that, those are the five apps that I use the most in Canva. Tell me which ones you're using because I'm always happy to explore more.